Okay, for this problem, they tell us that we're working with this curve. So here's the original one. We're only working between 1 and 5. And we want to estimate the area using lower sums. And we're also going to do upper sums. It's telling us that they want us to use rectangles of width 1. Now this is important because that's going to tell us how many rectangles we're actually going to be using. So right here, if we have a width of 1, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, which means that we're going to use 4 rectangles for uh, each one. Now what you're going to have to do is you need to draw in the rectangles for each of these and then we're going to take a look and estimate the area underneath by taking the area of each of those rectangles. Now for lower sum, that means that the rectangles have to stay underneath the curve. So I'm going to start at 1 and I'm going to draw a line up here until it hits the curve. I have it hitting right there and then it's going to come over and then it'll go up right here. So that's the first rectangle. We're using the left hand side here to estimate the height. Again, it's got to stay below. Now the next one we have, that's actually going to be the same height because if I, if I bring this side up right here, then that causes that to stay inside the curve as well. Then over here, I have another one. I'm going to bring this up here, bring it over. And then actually down here, I do have a, a rectangle, but it's going to look like it has a a height of zero there, you're not going to actually see that one um, because again it's flat because the height of it is determined by the end point right here. So let's do lower, lower sum as far as the area is concerned. Okay, we need to take the area of each of these rectangles that we have inside here. So the first one, we're going to read the height. Now the height off the graph, that's going to be at four. Okay, so that would be the length would be 4 and the width is going to be uh, 1. That's the area of the first strip. The second one, you're going to have another 4 times 1, height of 4 and a width of 1. This one here has a height of 2 and a width of 1. And the last one has a height of 0 and a width of 1. So this is how you would set that up with lower sums. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 0. So 10 is going to be the area using lower sums. So now we're going to do the same thing using upper sum, but before we get the numbers, we have to draw it so that way we know the height of each of our rectangles. So this time now, we're going to have the rectangles fall outside. So this is the difference here when you draw it for upper sums, the rectangle has to going to go outside or above the original line. So we have that one, it's going to go up here at 5. Now the next one, again, has to fall on the outside as well, so let me move this. Okay, this one's also going to fall outside, so that again, this is going to go up to here, that's going to have a height of 5. This one, it's going to look like this, and then this one here. So that's exactly what it look like. Notice again all these have to be above our original function and that's how it is here. Now that we have it drawn correctly, let's do the math and figure out what the upper sum's got to be. Okay, so the first one we have a height of 5 and a width of 1 and we have another rectangle that has a height of 5 width of 1. And then this one here has a height of 4 and a width of 1. The last one has a height of 2 and a width of 1. Let's uh, multiply and add this together. 5 plus 5, 10. 14 plus 2 is 16. So we see there's a pretty big difference between the lower sum and the upper sum. We know that the true actual area on this curve has to be somewhere between 10 and 16. But again, what we're doing is just estimating. We're getting a ballpark range so we can tell approximately what the true area is going to be. It'll be somewhere between 10 and 16.